Namaskaram. We are here at the Foundation Exam Center on the first exam accounting, and Balarka is writing his examination. So, 10 minutes before he enters the examination hall, we are doing our flagship process of reducing the stress and getting ready for the examination. So, Bala, exhale air completely. Exhale, exhale completely. Now, we'll do a couple of rounds of box breathing. Follow my instructions clearly. Keep your eyes closed throughout the process. Start inhalation. Inhale. Inhale further. Keep inhaling. Now hold there. Just hold there. Hold it for 10 seconds. Hold. 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 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold there. Now slowly start exhaling. Exhale a slow and steady and continuous manner. Exhale, 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 exhale. Continue exhalation for another 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is control exhalation. Now stay in the Shunaka position. Without inhalation nor exhalation, stay in that static state which will help you to tolerate distress in the exam. So what you are going through is called distress. And when you see some tough questions, it will be easy for you to tolerate distance, okay? So just hang on there for another 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now relax your breathing and keep your eyes closed. You can relax your breathing. Relax your breathing. Keep your eyes closed. We'll do one more round of box breathing and then we'll move on to the success meditation. So... Start inhaling once again. This is going to be a 15 second round. Inhale, 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 inhale. Keep inhaling further. Continue inhalation for 5 more seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now hold there. Hold, hold. Now this is a difficult step, but hold there for 15 seconds. Hold for 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now stay, start exhaling. Exhale slowly, exhale slowly and steadily. Controlled exhalation is important. Controlled exhalation is very, very important. Exhale, 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 exhale. Continue exhalation for 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Now stay in that Shunika position, neither inhalation nor exhalation for 15 seconds. This will help you to tolerate distress better. Stay there, stay there. On the count of 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Relax, keep your eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed. Relax your breathing. Keep your eyes closed. So now your mindset would be in a plain and neutral state. You don't have to worry about anything. So you'll be entering the examination hall in the next 10 minutes. So once you enter the examination hall, this is what you're going to do. So you're going to start with the box breathing technique. Okay. Then once you get the paper, once you get the paper, so based on the analysis, like we have done a detailed analysis of the question papers, the previous papers and based on your comfort most likely when you're starting with question number six there is a high likely scenario that a company accounts question might turn out question number six so you start the question paper from question six look at the paper if it's a company accounts question so that's what you're anticipating so spend some time and move on to the next question so look at the paper in the order of six five four three two don't look at question number one so second uh, generally a question comes from incomplete records or final accounts also a smaller part comes from the company accounts five and six would be having questions from company accounts so i think this is your comfort zone you can do this and question number four is for partnership again uh, this depends three and four has partnership questions normally now this this could be go going here and there so five and six might have company accounts questions and three and four might have partnership questions predominantly and also npo so based on your comfort as you rightly said it's not just about the chapter it also depends on the question given in the specific exam so in the first 15 minutes you're having a quick review of the questions and once you look at the questions in five minutes six five four three two once you look at the questions in the last 10 minutes pick up two questions which you can score the most okay voila so you go only have to pick up just two questions which you can score the most the moment the clock hits two o'clock start 
answering the two questions which you have chosen in the first one hour. In the first one hour, you are attempting it 28 marks and you are trying to score 16 to 18 easily. Then in the second hour at 3 p.m., pick up the next best question. After these two questions, pick up the next best question depending on your comfort and scoreability and complete 42 marks by 3.30. 3.30 to 4 is where you solve your MCQs. So 4 o'clock, you are attempting 70 plus marks and scoring 40 plus. You have to pass within 4. Visualize this extent. Visualize the questions. Visualize the process. Think about writing the MCQs properly, uh, answering them accurately. Think through all of this. Visualize this happening in the next couple of hours. Okay. So this is exactly what has to happen. And chapter 1, generally a question from theoretical framework and accounting process will come. Do that question at the end, after 4 o'clock. Okay. And depending on the difficulty you can pick or choose one of the questions from two and three depending on your comfort again this is a normal paper exceptional paper be ready with a different and difficult paper as always because last time the past person was slow so it's none of your business to think about the result right now but you should definitely focus on what has to happen on a question basis every 30 minutes this is something which you have to remember okay visualize all of this and any given point of time when you feel stressed release air do box breathing technique you'll feel a lot more comfortable okay now moving ahead i want manju to give you some additional tips manju we have written this so please ensure he understands it yes so i'll always prepare working notes in terms of you know certain adjustments right working notes and definitely give reference of that working notes in the account okay cross referencing is very important and then please do not write short forms write the full length use proper words and then question numbers, whenever you're writing question numbers, make sure that they're on the center of the page. Each question on a different paper. And then when you're preparing journal entries, when journal entries are asked, be careful that you make sure that you write narration for each entry. And then make sure that you, I'm not asking for lines and other things, but at least make sure that your ledger accounts have proper legibility, proper heading, debit credit, and other details. Apart from this, please do not overwrite on the same number in case you've gone wrong just strike it off neatly and write the figure again okay these are the basic things that i want you to keep in mind before the exam and finally visualize that at 5 pm you're coming out with a very happy face figuring out what to do next for the law thinking nothing about the accounts exam and it is important for you to have a realistic expectation that the paper might be difficult or different so when, always look at one question at a time Bala. look at particular question put your mental focus into it and at a, any given point of time uh, focus on the adjustments every number which is given has to be tagged either added or reduced or ignored so you have to have a minute level and especially uh, while you're looking the questions in the 10 minutes of the initial 15 minutes try to mark the bits like from point, bit a you're, you'll be able to solve this or you won't be able to solve this start with a question which has the highest possibility of marking and pay specific ad, uh, attention to adjustments so you should definitely think through the solution framework before you actually start writing okay so with this things on your mind you'll be able to do well and do not worry about results do not worry about marks okay so let the feeling sink in uh, think through that you have done your accounting properly and next Manju is going to take care of your law very well because you have already done the basics and you can see the improvement in just one and a half day. So these two papers we are trying to get at least one, 105 to 110 and QT we easily scored 50 plus and economics already you did, you did get a good score. This time you are going to cross 60 easily. So all you have to do is cross 40 plus in this paper before 4 pm and then you'll be done with your foundation so visualize the day of the result visualize how happy your dad and mom will be how pro how proud they will be and you are also excited to start your ca inter preparation okay so visualize all of that and all the best for you so stay in that uh, position for another 30 seconds visualize all of this get that feeling sink in start rubbing your palms Rub them, create more warmth, uh, place them in your eyes and massage them gently and keep them in front of your eyes and open your slowly, slowly and smile so that your stress is relaxed. Okay, all the best Pala. Thank you sir. Manju, you want to add on something? All the best Pala, you want to do well. Thanks sir. Perfect. You ready Pala? Yes sir. Hmm? Yes. So, uh, we are making sure this is your one last attempt. Yes. So this is Bala's one last item and he's ready for it.